Hey, Brian here with ProPride Industries. Let's see if we got it lined up. So he's got a camera, so you can probably do a pretty darn good job. We've got our install complete here. We're all hitched up and we're ready to take off. Beautiful. We're going to take you for a little bit of a ride. Well, welcome back, everyone. This is David Jamison with Pro Pride TV coming to you live with episode number two. Are we good to go? I'm talking to my production crew right now. Is everything good? We are rocking and rolling, and we got good stuff for you today, guys. Real good stuff. And I'd like to announce, get back here. I'd like to announce to you that we are going to have a $1,000 spending spree, a drawing for a $1,000 spending spree. And the drawing is going to take place on March 3rd. So we have basically 90 days where you can enter every single week by watching ProPride TV and enter in the drawing to win a $1,000 spending spree. Let's move over here so I can't hear the feedback. And there is a little bit of a catch to it. So what you need to do to enter is you have to share this broadcast, you have to like this broadcast, and you have to comment on this broadcast. So you gotta do a few little things, but it's not a big deal, but you can enter every single week. So I think it's roughly 15 weeks, you can get 15 en entries, and you have to do it within 24 hours of the broadcast. We're not gonna be sticklers on it due to Time, uh, time zone differences, but let's keep it at 24 hours from the broadcast. $1,000 you can spend any way you'd like on ProPrideHitch.com. You can use it toward $1,000 towards a, uh, a hitch. You could buy other things that we have on our site, and you can even use it on our sister site, Pro Pride Marine. So most of you have boats, I'm sure. You could go ahead and use it there and stock up for things, uh, stock up things that you need for this upcoming summer boating and camping so anyway we have a lot to go over today again thousand dollar spending spree drawing march what did i say it was the third march third that's the first wednesday in march so now that takes us to the next next category and that's product announcements we don't really have much new right now we have a lot of things in the works and i really don't want to tell you because last time i brought something up or other people have brought things up people start trying to place orders or call about it so we do have some things in the works but what i would like to ask you to do is if you could send us or i'm sorry comment and tell us things that you would like us to manufacture that you would like to see that might accompany your hitch or uh, help you with camping Anything you could think of that you'd like to see us produce, we will work on it. And that takes us to our, to follow up, we're going to have a tip of the week, question of the week, special of the week. And right now we're going to go over to tip of the week with Brent again, and he's going to be talking about prepping to hitch and unhitch. And I think I'm saying that correct, but he will explain it much better. Then he's also going to talk about the maintenance kit, but we're going to go over here right now. I think he's there. Yes, he is. He's waiting for us. So Brent is going to give us tips on hitching and unhitching. And here's Brent once again, everyone. Hello. Say hello to him. Hi, guys. How are you today? Hope everybody's doing well. Um, and I guess we'll get right into it, honestly, here. So a lot of you guys uh, will call and you're like, man, I'm in a crazy situation. I need to uh, have some help hitching, unhitching. We're going to go over just a couple of things that will help you out with that um, every single time. So hey, do me a favor. Uh, pretend it's me that knows nothing about hitching right. and unhitching. So start basic and then the advanced. We could go into advanced another time. Right. No, no worries. Yeah. So we'll start with that. So um, Reed, if you want to, let's just pan over to this guy right here. So about 85% guys of hitching up is gonna be making sure that you're at the same level here as the uh, stinger is going into the opening, right? So I always tell customers, um, once you've got this piece set up back here, right? I will, no, 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 move to, move oops, sorry, there you go. So I like to have those things two to three inches off the base right there, right? The jack's two, three inches up on both sides. That's gonna level out this opening right here for you. Because if you lower those things, it's going to pitch this guy up. 
If you raise them, it's going to pitch this guy down. So keep that in mind every single time you're hitching up. Think of it like wheelbarrow handles. I always tell people that. If you're picking up a wheelbarrow like that, it pitches the head downward. If you lower those handles down, it's actually going to pitch it up. But we don't want them too far down or too far up. You just want it level like this. So you can kind of see how it's parallel to the ground, right? So then I just do a quick measurement, right? So if it's like 21 inches to the center of this opening, I want this guy to be 21 inches as well to the center of this. That way you know that at least you can get this almost all the way in there. And then you can try and just basically pull these in the rest of the way. That's all you need to do. And what are those called right there? These are gonna be your over center latches right here, right? So just use the wrench that we supply for that and just pull it the rest of the way in. If you can get it almost three fourths of the way in, you're gonna be able to pull it the rest of the way in with that. And don't be afraid, once you get it in there, if you need to kind of shake it around a little bit or even use your foot to move these bars around just a little bit, to get that thing to work onto the, the stinger there. Another great thing we'll segment into the maintenance kit is this all purpose spray, right? So it comes with the kit that we supply, but uh, this stuff is not messy. It just wipes off easily. So you don't have to worry about like grease and stuff in the back of your bed when you put your thing back in there. Spray in there. Just give a nice little healthy dose there on the spit stinger as well. Spray it up right in there. That'll give it some lubrication so it goes in a heck of a lot. Spray easier. and lubricate your stinger is what you're saying. You got it. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> you got to do that. You got to do it. So uh, that'll help out with that considerably. So step one, make sure your jacks are two or three inches up, right? So it parallels this out. And uh, step two, make sure that the opening for the stinger is at the same height, the middle of it, as the middle of the stinger right there. And that's going to get you just about out of every single situation. Simple as that. Excellent. That and that's that's hitching up. Didn't you talk? Weren't you mentioning something about unhitching? Yeah. So unhitching is going to be basically the same way. Except, let me grab this book real quick here. That's why it's important when you guys do your core measurements for hitching up. Or sorry, when you get your core measurements to to figure out how how much your drop you're going to have your here, your hitch bar assembly, you'll have the uh, height to the back of the truck's receiver. So when you're unhitching, the truck's got to be back to, or your tow vehicle, I shouldn't say truck, because a lot of people are using all kinds of different things. It's got to be the same height as normal ride height. So if you know that it's going to be, the back of the, the truck is going to be at 22 inches, we'll say, to the top of the receiver opening on it, then it's got to be at that 22 inches when you're unhooking as well. So make sure that's the case. And that's really about the, the rest of that either. I mean, it's, it's super easy. So what you're saying is measure both of these components before you unhitch? When you unhitch, the, the primary thing to probably measure, if you know, you'll probably get a hang of it, um, but this is just a, a, almost a foolproof way. A lot of people will feel under here and do all kinds of stuff, but if you know where the back of your bumper is supposed to be on your tow vehicle when you're unhitching, you'll know that it's unloaded, so you don't have any of that resistance in between these guys. And as long as you have this thing parallel to the ground, that thing's going to come right out for you. Okay, very good, very good. If there is any follow-up questions with that, make sure you ask because I caught about 50% of it. I'm not, I'm not the most mechanical and, guy. Uh, and we will do a uh, video of it as well. Um, hopefully, we'll have that done for next week, potentially. That's what, that's what the goal is. And uh, if that's the case, then uh, you guys will actually see it happen. Um, in real Excellent. Time, so. Excellent. And you're not going to believe it, but Brent is going to also handle the question of the week. And just so you know, I do talk to Sean Woodruff quite often and try to coax him on here. One of these days, I think I'll just ambush him and go into his office. We will get him on camera. But as of right now, he's, he's hunkered down kind of like a bear. Like, you know how they hibernate? He's in there like that. So question of the week has to do with we had several people ask about maintaining the hitch. And... Not only that, that's also going to tie into the special of the week. And at the very end of this broadcast, we're also going to play a video for you. So question of the week is asking about maintaining your hitch. And again, we're going to ask Brent about that. Yep. So there's really a few different things that you can do. Um, a lot of you know about the grease zerks that are installed underneath here on the, the, grease, on the main. What? The grease what? Grease zerk is what it's called. So it's this little tiny guy in here. Right there. Can you get in there? Can, oh, yeah. Oh, got it. Look at that. 
Yeah, so Look at right. our camera crew. <laughs> You're able to uh, grease these uh, spring bars, right? So you want to do that about every thousand miles. That way, these things keep are nice and lubricated, and they're not going to uh, make any noises. Um, but if you do start hearing noises, that's probably one of the reasons right there. So get that guy. About uh, we'll just stay on the grease side of things for the moment. About once a year, you can grease the ball of your hitch too. You just leave it hooked up to your um, your tow vehicle like you normally would. You can release the clasp of this thing. Just lower your tongue jack down a little bit to where you can get underneath that. Put some uh, grease up in there, put it back up, collapse it again on there. And, and what's the benefit of that? That's just keeping this thing lubricated as well. So not that it has a ton of movement. In fact, it doesn't have hardly any movement at all, um, but it just keeps it from squeaking in there too. All right. And probably so it doesn't wear, wear also. Yep. So it'll help prevent obviously any wear on that ball too for you. The other thing is with this, uh, this spray lubrication stuff, you can actually do all kinds of stuff. So you can use, uh, you can use it on these uh, uh, over center latches here. Uh, that works out great for that. Just spray a little bit on this guy here. You can use it on these uh, spindles here as well. Anything that's movable, you can actually use it on the yoke arm right here where it meets the main unit. That's a nice spot for it. And then obviously we just talked about doing the stinger as well. That works out great uh, using that for that stuff too. Other than that, um, I'm gonna grab these two other things here. I can tell a real bad joke. Okay, he's back in time. Yeah, let's not go there. You can do that in the other room. So I've got the uh, three-in-one oil, which you can use on your jacks. We've got a little oil spot on the back side. There'll be a little video that we'll play here afterwards. It'll show you exactly where that goes, but it's on the back side of the oil. You can do that probably about, you know, every, uh, I don't know, two or 3,000 miles, uh, just to keep it nice and lubricated as it goes up and down there. There's all kinds of crazy jokes we can tell. So the other one's the last one, which is uh, just an enamel spray paint, right? This stuff uh, we give with the kit too. It's a phantom black enamel spray paint. And you can do touch-ups on just about whatever you want to do. So anything on the hitch, it matches up really nicely. Um, you can do your hitch, uh, your hitch bar as well. Anything, any little nicks, anything that happens to it, you're set to go with that too with this uh, phantom black spray paint and the phantom black i have read that it's marine and it's meant for something like this and it works very well so yeah this is actually made to even be submerged which is fantastic so i mean uh, i would not suggest submerging these by any means <laughs> but it will work well for uh, rain and all kinds of snow and things like that so and just so. i'm sorry and, and keep in mind if any of this we go over too quickly or if you want us to add to this be sure to comment and let us know um, and I think that's it with you right now, isn't it, Brent? So that's going to lead into the special of the week, guys. We can let you go. You got, Brent's going to be busy taking phone calls because I know everyone that's watching is going to start placing orders, especially after they hear what we're going to offer you. So special of the week. What's that? It's all right there. It's all right. Okay. Hey, yeah. In fact, we'll just segue over here. So the special of the week, or I'm sorry, the special of the week, meaning this broadcast, is if you order in the next 24 hours, I'm sorry, if you order today, gosh, sorry guys, if you order today, we will throw in a maintenance kit, which includes these items. Brent, why don't you come back? I'm going to recruit him back. Eventually, I'll get all the other people in production and assembly, but right now I'm leaning real heavy on Brent. So this is part of, this is the maintenance kit that we offer, and it's uh, valued at $44.95. We're going to throw it in if you order your hitch today. Yep, so uh, kind of what we just went over there. You've got the multi-purpose spray. You can use this on all kinds of different stuff. Um, it's great for just about anything RV moving part-wise, right? The three-in-one oil, multi-purpose oil, comes with the kit as well. You can use this on your jacks. Also, anything else with the RV, honestly, hinges, things like that. This stuff works great for that too. You're going to get the grease gun. So it's a mini grease gun um, so that you can grease your Zerks as we talked about there earlier. <laughs> Got to grease, gotta grease your Zerks, guys. Zerk and grease it. Spray your stinger and grease your Zerks. That's what I've learned today. You got to maintain. Okay. Maintain your hitch. <laughs> So we've got this little mini gun, but uh, it fits well in just about anything you've got uh, with uh, to store it. So easy to do. And you can get these in marine grade too. The grease uh, attachments, or I'm sorry, the grease additions for it. The, then, so ours are marine? Yes. Yeah, yeah. It'll come with that. And then it'll also uh, come with this uh, enamel spray paint, which is a special spray paint we just talked about too. And it works fantastic and matches perfectly. So. Excellent. And I'll tell you what, so the special of the week or the special with this episode is if you order today, you get the free maintenance kit and plus you get to lock in 2020 pricing. Now, 
call me crazy, and nobody's approved this other than me, that I am going to extend this offer until midnight Christmas Day. So until midnight on the 25th, you get the free maintenance kit. You still lock in the 2020 pricing. And what I'm going to do, since this is brand new with the contest for the $1,000 spending spree, normally it's 24 hours. Within 24 hours, you have to do the share, comment, and uh, what's the other thing? That, like. Like, share, and comment. You have to do that within 24 hours. I'm going to extend that until midnight the 25th. So until Christmas midnight, you can still order, get the free maintenance kit, lock in 2020 pricing, and um, enter the spending spree for an extra, what is that, two days? Extra two days. So that's it today, guys. Keep giving us real good comments and suggestions. Don't forget to let us know about things you'd like to see us produce and offer. And this is about the time to start signing off. And what I want to do is, or what we will do at the very end is we're going to play a video for you. So stick around. And we truly want to thank you for your support, your comments, your reviews, your kind words. Hello, it's Brent with Propride Industries here today. And we're going to go over the maintenance kit and the components and how you actually use all the stuff with the kit. So let's get right into it. We've got the uh, mini grease gun, which is going to be great because you guys can just like literally take this guy apart. It fits in uh, any small bag and it'll keep it nice and clean. It comes with a single set of grease right there for you. So you've got that going for you too from the get-go. We've got three-in-one oil. We're going to use this on our jack. We've got a multi-purpose lubricant that's going to allow you to um, use for the hitch itself and uh, the, I'm sorry, the hitch bar itself and the hitch into the main opening here. Also, any of the movable parts on this, we're gonna show you how to do all that stuff and what movable parts it works best on. And uh, last but not least, um, a nice phantom black can of touch-up paint too for any like little nicks and things you may have along the way. Um, I'll show you a little quick demonstration on how to do that too uh, on a hitch bar itself. So uh, without further ado, let's get right to it. All right, so we're gonna start with the multi-purpose lubricant right here. You can use this on all kinds of different things. I'm gonna show you some of the specific spots that we like you to use it on, um, but it does a great job. So number one, you can actually use it on the opening here. So it's gonna be like a clear spray on there. So it actually does a great job with that. It doesn't leave a mess, so you don't have to worry about this thing uh, like gumming up your trunk and stuff. And you can do some actually on your stinger itself too, on either side there. When you put it in, it's gonna have a nice lubricant for you, so it that slips in a little bit easier. The other things we like to use this on are the over center latches here. So you can do it on the spots here, all along there. Just get it worked in on the arms. Adds a protectant and it actually helps with these things moving too, right? So spray that, the over center latch screws. Just be careful to well, just know where it's set at there, but you know that tightening these or loosening these is gonna affect how it goes into this. So keep that in mind. Just give it a nice spray on those. Leave that in there, all in this area. You can even do these, uh, uh, the spindles here. You can get those guys right in there too. Work that in from the outside in. The yoke bolts right here. This doesn't have much movement, but it has some. Again, you can get the spray right on there. And uh, really, other than that, um, that's probably about the main areas to do that in. The rest of it actually is going to be uh, your grease gun, which I'll show you here in just a second. But this is a, a fantastic way of keeping this thing dress nicely and uh and functional for a long time for you without having to worry about rust and things like that so that's the multi-purpose spray that comes with our kit there let's get into the next one all right so next is going to be the mini grease gun that we uh, have in the same kit right so you're going to load your grease in here and you're going to go right there to the zerk which uh, you may be able to pan around and see it or you may be able to see it right there where you're at a little grease zerk on there this guy's just going to pop in there literally and little thud in there then you're just going to pump this guy probably three or four pumps actually to get the grease in here to where it starts to gob out at the bottom and that's as good as you get right there all right next is going to be this three-in-one oil the reason we include this is actually for that little tiny you probably didn't even notice it's stamped right here with oil on your uh, vertical jacks just take some of this guy put it right in that hole just give it a nice little healthy dose of it what it does basically is there's a line that goes right around here and that's what these three beads are welded in there. It keeps this thing nice and smooth rolling up and down this. So when you raise and lower it, it's a nice smooth transition in here. There is grease up here. 
probably not something you're going to have to necessarily do anything with, but if you did need to, you can pop this cap off, just little two little flanges on your inside, and use some of the grease, the same grease that you just did with the, uh, your grease zerks and the main, into this guy right here, and you're good to go with that. So it's a nice little helpful piece too. All right, and finally, we've got the touch-up paint that comes in the kit as well. So just basically do you know a quick rough up, get all the nice, uh, any rust or anything you've got on there, surface rust off of that. This thing nice and cleaned up to where it's uh, smooth again. Take this guy. Just do a few different coats on this. Probably gonna wait about five, 10 minutes between each coat. It's fast drying, so it does a really good job with